In the dashboard, go to WooCommerce and click on Settings. Now click on RAE Settings button. Scroll down, and enable Refund Amount to Customer Wallet. Scroll down and click on Save Changes button. Click on the Checkout button and scroll down to Payment Gateways, here the wallet payment is mentioned. Now let us see how to add money to wallet, in dashboard go to Users and click on All Users, click on Edit. Scroll down and come to Add Free Amount to Customer Wallet. Enter the wallet amount, and click on Change Coupon Amount. Click on Update Profile. The amount is added to Wallet. Let us place an order, go to, Visit Store. Choose any product and add it to cart. The product is in the cart. Click on Proceed to Checkout. This is the checkout page, scroll down and click on Place Order. The order is placed now. To get the refund order amount in wallet click on refund request. Fill the refund request form. And select refund in customer wallet for select amount refund method. Click on submit request. This is the wallet balance without the refund amount. Go to WooCommerce and click on Orders. Click on Edit. Scroll down and click on Accept Request. The refund request is accepted and the refund amount is added to Customer Wallet. Now let us see how to make partial payments. Place an order. Select wallet payment and click on place order. The wallet has insufficient balance to fulfill order amount. To use the wallet amount enter the coupon code. Click on place order. The order is placed and the left amount is deducted from payment method.